the Board of Health meeting into session at 6.01 p.m. Um, first item is public discussion. So, have you signed in? I did. Or? Okay. Yes. Is it okay to? Yep. Just so, introduce um, yourself. And sure. My name is Erica McNamara. I work for the Town of Reading. I'm with the Reading Coalition Against Substance Abuse. We're based at the Reading Police Department. I'm also a resident, 44 Greystone Way. So I came tonight just because I saw that vaping regulations was part of your possible discussion. Just wanted to let you know I'm a resource for you if you'd like me to come back and present on any of the current data or what's happening in terms of what we're already doing around vaping prevention, um, as well as if we need to do any research for you. So I offered that support to Laura as well. So just wanted to put that out there for all of you. And also wanted to invite you to, we have an event coming up at the end of the month um, at the IMAX. It is the Chris Howard film, The First Day, which focuses on really trying to get at why young people might start using substances. And it also gets into some of the mental health challenges that our young people face. So just wanted to extend an invite to all of you and to the public. So do you mind if I pass these out? What's the date on that? Um, it is September 25th. Thank you. 7 p.m. And Jordan's Furniture has donated the use of the Thank IMAX you. Theater. Wow. So it's going to be a lovely Thank spot. I don't know if you've got other folks, but I'll leave extras with Dean. Thank you. And um, Thank you so much. I also wanted to let you know, Laura has been in touch with Maureen Busby as well. She's our great regional resource for us. I work with Maureen all the time, and so I encourage you to use both of us, if you can, as a way to support your work. So thank you for caring about the issue we, we do as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and just, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll do uh, some just quick notes, and then I'll go back um, for the minutes. I'll go back and watch us back to make sure I get everything down, because we don't have anybody recording. Okay. Currently. I am. Oh, I'm you're sorry. recording. I'm sorry. My oh, okay. computer's just starting, and I'm forgetting what I'm doing. So we'll cobble it together. <laughs> yeah. and did you already take notes for everything that happened? Well, it's, oh, you don't, they don't have to <laughs> they be very to. complicated. <laughs> That's why you, you can actually even just go back and watch them with just a yeah, couple of bullet exactly. points written down tonight. So I don't want, you know, it's, it's tough to do notes and, yeah. and participate. Yeah, it is. So I'm just keep to it to, like, bullets, <laughs> and then you can always go back and watch. Okay. Okay. Computer's starting up very slow. Here we go. <laughs> I'll pause. <laughs> so I can get it together. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Okay. Next up is the chair report. So um, I want to take a little bit of this time to sort of come up with a, or share a vision, I guess. I have a short-term vision for the board. So I'm thinking that it would be nice in December maybe to have a meeting that's focused specifically on goals for the Board of Health and the Health Department for 2020. So um, Laura could ha um, provide goals for the Health Department, which um, might include things like trainings or cert certifications that any of your staff might, might do or attendance at any regional or state meeting. Um, updating the food code, anything like that, or getting on board with the new software. Um, and then the board could discuss our goals, which could incorporate regulatory items like the pesticide regulations, if they're still around, um, <laughs> the voluntary uh, national retail food regulatory program standards, um, as well as community outreach items like publications of educational material and just how we do that um, if there are certain topics we'd be particularly interested in. Um, prior to that meeting, I would like my fellow board members to review the strategic plan from 2015 that's on the Board of Health website. I believe it's there. Mm -hmm. um, so the town received a grant to have a consultant, uh, Peg Saladay, who Jean had mentioned a few meetings right. ago. Um, she came and uh, reviewed strengths and areas for improvement for the Board of Health and the Health Department and covered topics like staffing levels, regulations, community outreach, things like that. Uh, so I think it could be a good blueprint for us for that meeting. Okay. Um, and also, if people could review the uh, Voluntary National Retail Food Regulatory Program Standards. Um, 
So I put, Laura sent out a link in August to those standards and they were included, there was some information included in the packet, the August packet about them. There may be, whether we decide to enroll or not, there may be some items in there that may be beneficial um, to Reading. And then I'd also like to start adding a, uh, an agenda item that I think I'll call it maybe round table that's just um, a placeholder for new topics to be introduced to the board by board members. Um, it could be a time for you to <laughs> report back on the ARCASA meetings. Mm -hmm. um, it could be a news article that somebody came across that they think might be um, relevant to residents. Um, something that, you know, that's not an action item now, but we may want to turn into an action item, whether that be from a regulatory standpoint or an educational standpoint. Sure. Um, okay. And then I just wanted you both to know that the um, Massachusetts Association of Health Boards certifi Certificate Program, they have um, announced the dates, although they have not announced um, the, the different lectures that they're going to have, but the dates are November 2nd and November 16th. Um, November 2nd is in Marlboro, November 16th is in Taunton. Uh, and when I hear what those, uh, what their schedules in more detail will be, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, I found it really useful last time. Uh, and then the last thing is something that we unfortunately did not put on the agenda. Um, because I didn't know we had the letter, but it's the letter from the lawyer on the CBD, uh, the CBD advisory. Mm -hmm. um, did everyone get a chance to read that? Did. Did we? Um, Do we need it as an official agenda I, item I, to I vote on it? Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought in the last meeting we agreed to let. Just Council let handle it. Yeah. We, we said that whatever they come up with, we're sending out. But I could. Am I mistaken in that? Was, Does anybody recollect that? I thought she said she would come up with something and we would look at it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just yeah. to know what was going out. And so, I mean, I, yeah. Have we sent? Yay or nay? We have not sent it out. We have not sent it no. out. Okay. So you're waving on us then. Yes. Okay. So then I guess <laughs> I was mistaken. I guess we do need to to um, approve that, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Is there more in your chair report? No, this is asked to make a motion to approve. Yeah. If yeah. you want to do that, okay. yeah. I can make a motion to approve <laughs> the wording as is with the attachments. Okay. Second. Second. Perfect. All in favor? Zero motion no. passes. Send them out. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is... So we're sending this out to all food establishments, correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, do we want to post it to the town website? Because we know that there Probably, are right? places. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Did, did we, um, um, didn't we say we specifically wanted to send it out to the, um, the store as well, too, I, even though they're not part of our... <laughs> Are technically a privilege from a licensing standpoint because they don't get any licenses through us. I think we were okay. hesitant to do that because uh, it, it yeah. looked like we were cherry picking places, right? Isn't that? Yeah, but I it's, know kind of, it's, it's so kind of obvious. Like it's such a wheel, I know, it's wheelhouse such an to obvious. cherry pick, right? I know. <laughs> it's a tough one. I mean, you. I think it would be a nice courtesy letter to send them. Yeah. I mean, I, it, it, you, have, you're right, right? It seems know. like we're cherry picking. I know, picking. but that's an obvious so one. CBD store? Is that the only place no. that we know about in town that sells that does not report to us from a licensing standpoint? I think a citizen mentioned the food, what is it called? Natural food Natural food 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 that, one that, that one falls under us because okay. it's a yeah. food establishment, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so are you saying the letter goes out to anyone that has a food permit? Because that, yeah. that database is easy. Correct. Yeah. That. yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the question is, then the question do we is, do add yeah. the CBD store because it's because of obvious. for obvious reasons? Okay. And okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I don't. I can't, I can't recall if there's any other 
entity in town that does not um, have a license through us like the CBD store does doesn't that we would need to send it to as well too. But if there is such you have a have to like go through every yeah, I only know places we inspect. Right. I know. Should so we? I think that's why we were thinking of posting it. Mm -hmm. Post it to the website. I know it only gets a certain attracts a certain number of I know. <laughs> Um, I, I think it'd be a good courtesy just to just to for, them. for them to, yeah. to have it. Yeah. You know, I think it, I don't I don't see it as cherry picking. I see it's something that's a direct uh, effect for them, so they'd want to know yep. about it. That's fair enough. Do we? Are there other websites, town websites, that it makes sense to post? Like, should it just be on the board town website, or oh, would could the it town be, website make sense? Could it go to the Reading, the Chamber of Commerce? Oh. Might that? be a good way to get it. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I mean, I think that would probably be a good idea to send it out to the director, um, Lisa Egan, and she can, yeah. she can send it out as she feels appropriate. To, yeah. uh, she'll probably send it out to everyone just so they aware of it. I mean, really, the letter is very... That might... The letter is very much, hey, here's a heads up, this is what's going on yeah. with the regulations, yeah. you know, federal and statewide. Yeah. You know, so it's not really... I, I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So can we send one to um, Lisa Egan, Director of the Chamber of Commerce, as well? Now, do you want this letter to go out now, or can it wait until we go do our food permits in a few weeks? Do you mean you would attach it with the same right. email? Yeah, we do a big annual renewal process, and it's well comprehensive well this year. Might as well do it all, all at once. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's fine with me. I don't see any. There's no pressing. It's not. It's not asking it's anyone to do anything. Yeah. So. Okay. So CBD stores. Everybody on the food list. Post it on the website. Lisa Eat, and then it can go out with the permits. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next up is the health agent report. And who's going to sign it? Oh. Emmy. Emmy needs to sign it. Sign it. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to sign it, right? Just you. Um, it has on here Does you, it? but. <laughs> Well, I think, I think it was, it's chair or I think it was either chair or, chair or, but it probably should, oh, okay. it probably should come from the chair, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. We'll have Emily sign. We'll put it on the board of health letterhead. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. My report. Uh, there was 22 inspections, four re-inspections, six complaints, five of them have been corrected, one of them is still pending. No animal inspections, which is normal for this time of the year. No septic abandonments in August. One tanning salon inspection. And the nurse's report, which is the Maven, is... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> camp, Campylobacter, which is raw chicken, fresh produce, or unpasteurized milk. And the only other thing we had was salmonella, which is from raw chicken. Okay. We had no issues in Maven. We've done no flu clinics because they haven't started yet. So we've administered no flu shots because they're not in yet. Yeah, I've heard it's been hard to get those. Yeah, I don't know yet. It's weird. I've heard CBS, CBS has, has them. CBS says that they have yeah. them, so but the cool. pediatricians do not. Right. The pediatricians are saying that it's not ready. Does that mean CBS has the current? CBS right. has them. They just the got CBS. them first. No, we, we, we are all buy them last year. We put an hour order yeah. last year. Ours are shipping. Delivered to CVS first for whatever reason. The one pending um, correction. Overgrown vegetation. Is it just is it just pending still just because it they just falls under the, the amount of time they have to correct it? Right. Okay. So oh, excuse me. haven't cut their grass yet. That's enforceable? I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay. Uh, next is the new health inspector. So the health inspector went home sick. <laughs> okay. So that'll be on next month. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but we have a new one. Okay. That's great. Good to know. Uh, okay, mosquito-borne diseases. Um, so, 
I think you guys both got the email. Laura added a couple links to the town website, uh, informational links on Triple E mm -hmm. and mostly on Triple E, but uh, West Nile is included mm -hmm. there. Um, the question is, I think, you know, do we want to add that information to the Board of Health website specifically? Does that require a vote? Um, Right now, we're still at. Okay. I this morning. We're okay, still gray. Okay, <laughs> so we're still low risk. <laughs> but obviously, people travel. It's not like everyone just right. stays within the bounds of Reading. Right. Right. Um, so uh, yeah, it is a bad season for Triple E. Um, people want to do to add it somewhere other than where it is right now on the town website which is the home I think it would be nice to link yeah just to link to our site yeah and if somebody's googling board of health then yeah. they find it there if they're yeah. googling town of reading they find it there Can Can both we, is, is it possible to uh, I don't easily update like we can, can we put in just at, in that mis, whatever link to the Board of Health website, uh, um, EEE, you know, low risk, West Nile virus, low risk with the, can we embed the maps or not? Is that beyond, or is it better just to link to the MDPH? Usually you better to, because then you don't have to do the then update. Then you don't have to do it. Yeah, that's I true. Gonna, okay. Yeah. I don't want to misrepresent. Yeah, yeah. Using yeah. exactly. Yeah, I, I that's was just true. having a simple link to okay. the site. Should we link to the town website so that it's the same exact link no matter which page they find it from? Or are we saying to add our own announcement? Well, I think you put them, no. I know what you mean. Yeah, I think you, you put them both, right? You have to save a link um, to where it is already on the town website. Okay. You know, for just you know information purposes, and then you have a link to the website that has the maps. So we showing the it, risks. So we could put on that side column as well a mosquito-borne disease information link, and in that when you click on it, it'll just have the two. Links? Is that what you're thinking? Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just, well, I was thinking just putting the two links right there on that left, on that left column. In the left column. Yeah. Okay. And just title them whatever they are. Yeah. You know, information on Triple E. Yep. One. Um, and the other risk, one. Risk maps, risk or maps. however you want to, okay. you know, phrase it um, for another link. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Does anyone have anything else they want to say about that, about the mosquito born? Okay. Not too many times I'm wishing for a frost. Oh, I know. <laughs> Let's let it be like a really cold winter. Um, discussion of vaping regulations. <clears throat> so, I'm sure everyone here has heard all the stories about the vaping associated lung illness. Um, uh, the question is, is there anything more that we want to do um, that um, our current regulations, the ones that um, the board put into place, what, three years ago, Something I think? Like that. Echo applies to the vaping products. I, yeah, it does. Wait, sorry. Uh, yes, it does. it does. So those are flavored nicotine vaping liquid is banned in Reading. The sale of it is banned in Reading. Um, I don't know if places are selling flavored non-nicotine or if that's in Right. Which is the other one? Uh, cannabis is no, they not have, they allowed. Have some, um, Erica, they have some that's non-tobacco. They non have flavor that's right? not. I mean, it would come up in a tobacco inspection if it something would. was looking too close. They would. Sorry, is it okay to speak? Yes. Sorry. Yes, 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 um, yes. Uh, they would. Maureen would probably bring it to your attention if there was something that was looking too similar because they're not supposed to misrepresent either. So. Okay. Okay. But I have seen just in my own kind of yeah. looking just since the ban, it's been. They've been pretty good. Yeah. So, 
but you will start to see there's more CBD products which look kind of like the same liquids um, and those are in lots of different stores too so they look the containers look the similar They're similar okay so you know my my only fear in general with this is we don't know what the actual Stop. problem is I know. Uh, which is no, kind of scary I agree. you know it's it's makes it makes it difficult um, to do anything really with it but um. uh, yeah I, I think my feeling is more along you know pushing the educational component which is really your wheelhouse <laughs> um, if there's anything we can do to assist you in that um, we'd be happy to I don't know if it makes sense for us to post something specific to our website um, as uh, an advisory. Um, be great if you could link to our presentations oh, yeah, and have good. all the latest information. Yeah. All of our stuff comes from the Department of Public Health's Get Outrage campaign, so it's all been checked out and approved. Oh, yeah. um, so that might be helpful. Okay. It also would be helpful if the Board of Health wanted to send a letter to the Attorney General, okay. um, if that's an allow allowable thing, um, because she's been taking a lot of time and focus on trying to do the best that they can to try to curtail legally whatever they can and so they're looking continually for support around that so that would be something that okay. would be helpful okay. um, and then continuing to just promote the education okay and, and I assume that'd be something you'd be uh, more than willing to be helpful in drafting absolutely <laughs> And if you'd like me to come and do a presentation on vaping for all of you and then also for the public, if it's helpful, there may be people who watch your meetings that may not have heard. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy to do that if that's helpful. Yeah, I think that would be great. And we also have the latest risk behavior results. We just got our 2019 survey. Saw results. that. Lots of new data to share. And that's just specific to the town of Reading? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's exciting. So, pesticide regulations update. I don't really have much of an update. I have comments from Anne, and um, I think the town manager is going Thank to you. remind. Thanks, Erica. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, it's going to remind uh, the select board members at the next meeting okay. to get That's them to us. I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. All right. Aren't pays for a record here. I know. <laughs> Just saying. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, review minutes. Unless, does anyone else have anything else that I that they had in mind? Because I didn't put in a placeholder. Anything that um, about pesticide records? Um, about anything before we do the minutes review, anything that we have in that you just. Um, I think you covered most of the things. Oh, about MAHB. Oh, yeah. I um, went on there and updated my membership, and it has our members as being Emmy, Andy, Nancy Doctor, John Costigan, and me. Because apparently you have to do it yourself. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what they told me, and I was like, oh, well, that makes Not sense. Right. Anymore. So I don't know if, um, I mean, I have like the password, so I can go in there and update members, or if I should send, like communicate to those people who used to be on there to please go on there and remove their names, or I could... I'm, I'm wondering if we care to update that profile and then who should do that. Uh, I mean, I'm happy to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, and, oh, about vaping, I had a couple of websites, I don't know, just talking about educational materials, you know, the CDC and the Massachusetts Department of Health has on what ARCASA suggests. Um, Triple E, and then I had a couple questions about like interpreting food inspection, but like reports. So 
we might just I could ask those offline. Okay. If, okay. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So review minutes. Oh, and I'm Serve Safe certified as of today. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this program that I run at school. <laughs> okay, so meeting minutes from August 20th. Where am I missing? The only thing is the date under future enhancements health agents inspection violations report it says at the end of July 28th 2019 meeting if you think it was should have I'm assuming she meant June whatever the date was, what was the date? <laughs> we didn't have a July meeting right oh it was August right June 18th June 18th okay yeah, I think this was looking back at the previous meeting. Um, August. Yeah, but in the issues. But we didn't vote until last time. Yeah. I think it was referring back. Is that what you how you interpreted it? Yeah, because we didn't have a July, right? So it couldn't be that. I mean, that's, right. that's the obvious <clears throat> one right out of the gate. So it would have to be. Okay. I just didn't think that we had decided at that point that we had, ver you know, verbally said. Because wasn't that the first yeah. time that everyone came and voiced their opinions? Well, and perhaps. We sort of concluded yeah, but that was. Uh, was about it. <clears throat> maybe it was. Uh, we we. My recollection at the time was we were going to still, um, at the end of that meeting, because we didn't decide anything, we were just mm -hmm. keeping everything status quo, which was yeah. not posting. So it just kind of oh, fits okay. with I think that's, that line. I don't, yeah, I think that's... Okay. What was the date? June 18th. Were there any other things that anyone had? Okay, do we have a motion to approve minutes August 20th, 2019? Um, minutes of uh, August 19th. Right? Did I say that wrong? Yeah, yep. sorry. August 19th, <laughs> 2019, <laughs> as amended. A second. All those in favor? Raise your motion passes. Okay. And then the last thing is the Board of Health meeting schedule. So apparently Anne Marie can't meet on Mondays. Um, so are people okay with meeting on Tuesdays at seven? Is that okay with everyone? Or not? I just don't want it to overlap with the yeah. select board meetings. Uh -huh. Which um, is good. Well, is that? Do you think that's? You could just set them off. I mean, there's two weeks in there. You can. Yeah, you I, can, I don't know that it's as um, it? precise as. Um, there could be an occasional conflict yeah. at seven o'clock on a Tuesday. Yeah. Right. If we could start earlier, like the board used to always meet at five thirty on a Tuesday. Yeah, I can't do. You can't do earlier. Right. Tuesday. Right. I don't know that. We so can do, yeah. Can we change it? Per I month? can also do Wednesdays and Thursdays, but I have zoning board of appeals on Wednesdays. Yeah, so there's usually a and lot of finance parts. committee. I know. Yeah. <laughs> can we change it every month? Like instead of it being the same, like the third Tuesday, changing it based on the select board. Have it be on an off night. Yeah. yeah. Off the night the select yeah. board typically is the second and the fourth, right. so the third Tuesday okay. should work. Okay. But we can look ahead and make sure we don't have a conflict. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. The only time you're going to run into Reasonable. problems like January. Yeah. But that's not a big deal. No. No, we can figure that out. Yeah. And does Laura, anyone, yeah, I was going to say, does anyone know if Lara can make that time? I do not know that. Okay. I meant that, Laura. <laughs> Were you suggesting changing the times too, or just the day? She wanted seven, seven. on Tuesday. Seven. Seven, yeah. 
and she was fine with that because she has a conflict with the train, which is why she's not here. Which is why she's not here. So, okay, mm -hmm. so you get two okay. members that this is going to work out okay. for, and I think the rest of us can manage it, right? What's that? Don't we have another member? Anne Marie. She can't oh. do yeah. Monday nights. She, she can't, can't do, do Monday nights. That's the one who can't. Oh, okay, Monday okay, night. okay. So. Works for me. Okay, okay. So the next meeting then <laughs> would be. <laughs> Fifteenth. There's no select board on the fifteenth, right? There isn't. No. Okay. We have a financial forum on the sixteenth. Fincom. Should we do November and December now, or? November we have um, subsequent town meeting mm -hmm. that's going to start on Tuesday, November 12th and go for possibly four nights. Tuesday, right. Thursday the 14th. Come on Tuesday, not Monday? Monday's the holiday. Ah. Monday's uh, the What about the 19th? Is it going to go to the 18th and the uh, 21st if it needs to? 18th and the 21st. Okay. So we could do the 19th. The 19th. I'm not sure Maybe. what the schedule is for November. November gets a little Ooh. challenging. Yeah, yeah. okay. Why don't, um, we, why, don't, why don't we get closer to November and figure it out like next meeting? <laughs> Should we put a placeholder on yeah, the 19th we can for put now? And double check it to make yeah. sure it's okay. not a problem. So we're but I would say tentatively for the 19th, you say? Yeah. Okay. okay. And, then um, and then December? December 17th. Yeah, so um, we're all booked um, for the select board budget meetings, the 3rd, the 4th, the 10th, the 11th. So Tuesday, Wednesday, the first week in December, Tuesday, Wednesday, the second week in December. So the 17th should be okay, but okay. We'll, we'll verify to be okay. sure. Okay. Is something more important to do? <laughs> Your time. <laughs> All the time. I can just, I can put the baby down here. Yeah. They, allow, they have a conference calling you now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Anything else? We good? Wow, this was fast. That was really fast. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Motion passes 3-0.